Hi guys, uh, let's take a look at what seems to be a popular subject, uh, at least I get, I get, uh, regularly I get questions about this, it's how to make the Batman. Either I'll get questions directly to me, or sometimes I'll see uh, people on the forum asking about it, so let's, I figured let's make a video just about that. I, obviously the, the most obvious answer to that question is get the Batman call. Uh, if you get the Batman call, you're on you know, you're on the right track to recreating the Batman. Uh, also, there is uh, there was the Batman versus Superman Batman emblem. Uh, sadly, that item is no longer available uh, on the marketplace. So, if you've already purchased it, kudos to you because uh, people no longer can purchase it. Uh, for the rest of the suit, uh, essentially you go for the chest, you'll go for something like the slimline uh, suit, or in this case I think I have the reverse uh, slimline. The new Genesis pants, obviously, uh, in order to get the, the shorts, quote-unquote. Uh, there's the thin the slimline gloves, as you can see. Uh, for the cape, the best option for me is the Batwoman cape, but there's also the Batgirl cape, if somehow you cannot uh, get the Batwoman cape. I made a video about uh, how to get the, the Batwoman cape. And also there's the tall boots, which uh, works really well with the Batman. It's not quite the, bat, the boots that Batman uses, but it's, it's close enough that it does the trick. And for the belt, the simple utility belt uh, does the trick, but there's, uh, there's quite a, a few belts actually that, that would work uh, for that character. But let's assume you do not want to, let's assume you do not have the Batman emblem, and let's assume you do not want to spend money for the, the $20 Batman call. Uh, we're going to look at a few other options. You can see the background have other Batman suits that I'm going to show you. So let's get started with that. At character creation, this is about as close to the Batman as you can get. Uh, essentially, you can use the V, uh, what's it called, the V-Slimline mask, uh, sadly it doesn't have the ear, it's pretty much what you're missing to, to actually be able to scream Batman. For the emblem, obviously there's no Bat emblem, but the circled wing uh, kind of works to, to try and fake out uh, the Batman. Again, uh, the tall boots, the tall uh, classic boots are, are, are pretty much a, a good option. Uh, here I have, I have the Bat uh, Woman cape, but there's the, the classic cape that you actually get uh, at character creation. Uh, you cannot get the Bat Woman cape, obviously, when you create your character. So at character creation, you need to go for the, the classic cape, obviously. Uh, the slimline gloves, uh, the slimline fin gloves are an option also that you get at character creation. The simple utility belt also can get, uh, can get get can be used at character creation. And for the chest, uh, in order to essentially mimic the, the cowl where you, you see the neck covered in, in black as if it was a continu continuation of the mask, essentially I go for the high collar, uh, high collar slimline and essentially I, I color the top of the suit uh, black in order to sort of uh, fake out the, the, the Batman cowl. So, and obviously the new gen Genesis pants for, for the short shorts. So at, at character creation, this is about as close to creating the Batman as you can get uh, in this universe online. But we're going to look at a few, a few other options. And also, if you want to create the character for free, this is pretty much your best option. If you don't want to invest uh, either buying the Batman call, uh, that, which is uh, $20, and even if you get it you know, on sale, it's still going, going to be fairly expensive. But also some of the other options I will show you, like uh, the, the, the Daring Vigilante suit, requires you to, to be either legendary or to purchase uh, keys to unlock Prometheum lockboxes. So, uh, in order to create a totally free character, this is pretty much the, the one option you have, although uh, we will see one other option uh, in a bit. Here we have the Dark Spectre uh, Batman suit. It's a suit that you can purchase in the Watchtower uh, from uh, the Batgirl vendor. Uh, if you go into the, into the Tech Wing, uh, there is a, a display with a Batgirl where you can purchase that suit. Uh, it's a tier 2 uh, suit, so you can buy it fairly early in the game, and you can buy it if you're a free-to-play player. Uh, although it looks nothing like Batman, really. It's more like a Batman robot or some such thing. Uh, there, there were a few Batman robots in the comics at some point, 
and none of them really looked like that, but he, I guess you could fake it out uh, a bit if you wanted to. Uh, although it's not... Uh, doesn't really look like Batman. This is one of the few Batman uh, headpieces that you can actually get if you want to re recreate a Batman character. Essentially I used it, I had it, that headpiece uh, for quite a bit until we actually had other options. But if you really want a 100% free Batman call, or I, I should say Batman headpiece, uh, this is this is the, the, the option for you. It's either that or the, the V Slim line that doesn't have the ear, or you have this, which doesn't really look like Batman, but it, it looks kind of cool enough that it kind of works with a, a Batman character. So if you don't really want to use the, the V Slim line mask, and if you, you really want to have some uh, more Batman looking helmet, uh, if you use the Dark Spectre helmet on the, the, the Slim line suit that I showed before, Essentially, you can get a pretty pretty nice looking uh, Batman inspired character. It doesn't really look like Batman because of the headpiece, but it's still it's still uh, it looks nice enough. Uh, and essentially, for this is a character that you can create completely for free. So if you don't want to spend uh, money for any reasons, you can still create a somewhat uh, Batman looking character uh, using the Dark Spectre helmet and using uh, pretty much uh, the styles that you can get at character creation. So one of the other options you have in order to create a Batman looking character is to use what is known as the Daring Vigilante uh, suit. Essentially it's the, the suit from Batgirl from the New 52. Although the suit doesn't have an emblem, so as you can see I'm using the circled wing uh, which is pretty much what I used uh, when the, there was no Batman emblem at the time. Uh, I did not mention this suit for if you wanted to make a, a, a Batman looking character for free because technically this is not for free. You have to you have to either be a legendary player or you have to purchase uh, keys for Prometheum lockboxes because uh, that style is only available in Prometheum lockboxes. So either you have to be really lucky and get the style from uh, one of those boxes, or you have to purchase the style from the broker. And for, uh, if you want to purchase it on the broker, you have to you have to invest some sort of money, uh, either by being legendary or by purchasing an escrow, because purchasing things on a broker can be pretty expensive, and there's no way you can purchase uh, the Dairy Vigilante style with only $2,000. So either you're going, to, you're going to have to be legendary, a legend, legendary player, either you're going to have uh, to buy Prometheum uh, uh, lockboxes keys, assuming you're really lucky and actually get it in one of those boxes, and uh, or you're going to have to purchase it in the broker. So you're going to have to purchase some some escrow of some sort in order to be able to to purchase this gear on the broker. So using the Daring Vigilante headpiece, uh, if you use it with all, all the, the free stuff uh, that we mentioned before, you can come up with a, a pretty close uh, approximation of the Batman. And uh, the, you can get a Batwoman cape uh, for free if you have a, a bit of patience. If not, you can always purchase it on the, on the broker. But uh, you, can, you can get those uh, fairly easily, so it's, it's not that difficult to, to recreate the Batman. Assuming you're a legendary player, if you're a free-to-play player, getting that call will be uh, will be a bit difficult. Uh, there is a robot Batman head that you can uh, get it. I don't recall in what mission you get it, but it's it's a random, a rare random drop that you can get. But yeah, and you can also purchase it for fairly uh, fairly cheap on the broker. So I, I I was hesitant to mention it because as you see, it doesn't really look like Batman. But it, you could you could still try to create a, a sort of a robot Batman that was somehow assimilated by the evil Brainiac or some some such some such thing. Uh, there's also the Batwoman T-shirt, as you can see. Uh, that one, yeah, you can get it for free uh, in the the vault. But if you're a free player, you're going to be able to run the vault only once a week. Uh, if you're a, a premium player, I think you can run the vault three times a week. So essentially, I I, pre I got the the T-shirt the from the vault with uh, my Batman Beyond character. I had to run the vault like eleven times, and uh, before I got the T-shirt, so I was I was really lucky. But uh, there's a uh, 
there's other pieces of gear that I've been uh, that I had to run the vault uh, a few hundred times. So if you're a free-to-play player and you can only run the vault once a week, and it takes you like 200 uh, vault runs to get the T-shirt, well, it'll take you a few years uh, in order to to get that. So I was a bit hesitant to mention that too. But if you're a, a, a legendary player, sure, the odds of getting the the T-shirts are are fairly good uh, after in the long run. And even then, if, if you're really unlucky, it could take a long while. And as for the gloves, these are the Bat Gauntlet that also you can get from the Vault. Uh, sadly, these are pretty rare, so the odds, the odds of getting them, you have to be really lucky. And even worse, the odds of getting them on, on the character that you actually want them to use it, it's, it's, uh, you have to be really, really, really lucky. Again, it's something you get from the Vault, so technically you can get it for free. But you're going to have to run the vault so much that uh, if you're a free player, the odds of getting those gloves are very slim. And even as a legendary player, it, it will take quite a while before before you can get the, those gloves. There is one more uh, Batman-inspired helmet. Essentially, it's the GCPD Knight helmet. Uh, it's, a, it's a helmet that you can get uh, by gathering some collections uh, that are called uh, the multi-dimensional uh, weapon of the bat so either you have to be uh, fairly fairly far in the end game in order to be able to gather those collections or you have to purchase them from the broker the, the easy solution would be to purchase them from the broker either way you're, you're going to have to be either uh, either a, a premium member with the appropriate uh, dlc or you're going to be to have to be a, a legendary player to be able to purchase the collections from the from the broker. So it's not really a free option, but you can you can get it uh, fairly easily uh, if you're a legendary player. And there is also the Batman hoodie, which is one of the very rare uh, pieces of gear with an actual Batman uh, emblem on it. There is the Batwoman T-shirt, but the what Batwoman T-shirt as the Batwoman emblem, which is pretty much the, the Batman Beyond emblem. But for a proper Batman emblem, uh, other than the Batman vs. Superman uh, Batman emblem, this is, uh, this is as close as you can get. Sadly, it's, it comes with, uh, with a hoodie, and that hoodie is only available in the, in the vault. And again, you have to be lucky, and it'll take quite a while before you can get it. Uh, essentially, on my on my on my Batman character, it took me about two years before I, I finally got that hoodie. Uh, to be fair, I didn't run the vault every single day, but I, I ran the vault at least uh, 500 times uh, before I, I finally got that freaking hoodie. So if you're running the vault like only once a week, uh, the odds of getting that hoodie are, are very slim. And even as a premium player, three times a week, it, it will stay you. It, it will still take you quite a while. Heck, even as a legendary player, it will take you quite a while. So this pretty much covers uh, most of the Batman related gear that you can uh, you can use to either recreate the Batman, at least as closely as we can uh, recreate the Batman right now in this universe online, or just to create a Batman inspired uh, character. Uh, I didn't mention every single pieces of gear, uh, like the, I didn't mention like the Robin belt, which I guess could also be used. Uh, I didn't mention like the Batman uh, bouncing ball that you can purchase in the, the marketplace, or even the Batman uh, drone that, that's, uh, that was an exclusive item when you purchased the DC Universe Online uh, Collector's Edition. Uh, so there's, there's a few pieces of, uh, of, of gear that I still didn't mention, uh, either because it, they're, they're pointless uh, to mention, or the, the, you can uh, you can no longer obtain them at this point, anyways. But uh, if there's a piece of uh, of Batman related gear that I failed uh, to mention, uh, just uh, mention it in the comment section down below, and I'll see if I can add a note uh, to the video, or uh, who knows, maybe at some point if they keep on adding more uh, Batman related gear to the game, I may do a follow up uh, video at some point. So that's pretty much it for making the Batman. So I hope uh, you guys learned uh, a thing or two how to how to properly create the Dark Knight Detective, the Masked Manhunter, on how to create the Batman. So thanks for watching, and hopefully I'll see you guys uh, next time. Bye bye.